Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So in this reading, we're going to talk about Haley Bieber. So let's first get an overall card on Haley. And uh, I get that uh, she's quite happy right now. And during at this time they uh, of the reading, she just had a baby. Okay. So her overall is dwarf. And that's an interesting card. Strength, mining, solidarity, craftsmanship, underground. Okay. Um, what I really get from this is the solidarity part because she really is on her own in this marriage and with this family as a whole. Having a baby, it's really on her. And uh, she'll have some help around, but it will really be, she's going to feel very alone going forward, more so than she did prior to having a baby. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start with finances. And let's just get a finance card, uh, you know, career type. Okay, that just came out. And it is unexpected expenses. And I've said it before, and I'll just say it again. I've said it in their readings. I've said it in they being her and Justin, Haley and Justin. I've said it in Justin's readings. Uh, uh, the money situation is glib. It's not good. And unexpected expenses is going to come from, you know, her husband doing things with money that, you know, spending it, splurging like they have a lot. It's just going to decrease. Okay, so let's just get into that. Let's let's see what else the cards want to tell us as it relates to her finances. Okay. All right. Let's pull the first card. Okay. So we have returning to one's roots, children, childhood, memories. Okay. And let's get one more to just clarify that. We'll take the top one. Okay. Ace of Swords, new ideas, new plans. Okay. Now we are talking about her, Haley, and her finances. Even though, you know, she's married and she had, you know, her husband's finances are her finances too, but, um, I'm getting that she's thinking about ways to reinvent herself. She's not the wealthiest alone, but with her husband, obviously she is, even though that's going downhill quickly. But she is in the mode as it relates to finances. How can I increase my finances? What can I do? Could I start a podcast with me and the baby? Um, and when I do, everybody will see how awful Justin is. So do I want to do that? I think I do want to do that. So, you know, that may be something we have to look forward to. So finances are really not the most important thing. So we're going to move on. We'll just have to see. She's going to try to create her own. Let's move on to family. Okay, let's get a couple of oracles on family first, and then we'll... Uh, pull some tarot. So what about the family? Okay. Okay. So we have divine feminine. And we have trapped. Okay. Interesting cards. She doesn't want to come back on the screen. Okay. There she is. Oh, okay. I apologize for that folks. Um, all right, so we have divine feminine, and she, you know, is a divine feminine. She views herself in that way, and as far as uh, what I'm picking up is the, the family is her and Justin and the baby, and she is feeling very trapped, like her hands are bound, trapped, stuck, tied down, held captive. That's what that card is. Let's get another oracle just out of curiosity. And we'll get uh, a tarot. All right. Sorrow. Okay, so we, we see. 
we see what's going on here. It's sadness. It's sorrow. It's feeling alone. It's, you know, some of that could be postpartum as well is what I get, but mainly this relationship. She's quite happy that she has the baby. Okay. Now in family, we have the, um, the family card. I picked this as her immediate family and they are over the moon and happy and excited, but they also know this is her immediate family, mother, father type of thing. But they also know that she has, um, she's feeling, uh, very sorrowful in this relationship, in this marriage and, and likely will get a divorce from him. Um, but with her immediate family, she feels this, but with, uh, Justin, she feels sorrow. <coughs> Sorry, folks, I had to pause to cough. Okay, let's move on. We're now going to talk about love and this is the love between her and her husband. So let's get a couple of, of, uh, love cards and we'll, uh, pull a tarot or what else of whatever else I feel compelled to pull. Okay. So we have your mind. Okay. This is love. And I feel like this is more about her and the baby. <laughs> okay. And let's, because I get, it's a beautiful union with her and this baby. It's very, it's going to be magical for them. Okay. And then we have separation. Okay. So it's like, uh, the baby's energy comes in and Justin's energy comes in. Okay. Your mind, I get, I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now it's toxic. Yeah. I, I, I want the world to know your mind. <laughs> okay. Really? This is about her and the baby and you know, that baby being hers and having that very close loving relationship. Now, as it relates to Justin, we have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And that is very true because, you know, this is a, this is a relationship that is, well, um, toxic at this point in time. Okay. Let's get a couple oracles on this love relationship. Let's see what else the oracle cards want to tell us about this relationship with Justin and, uh, Haley. All right. Let's get the first card. All right. Distance. Okay. That one's turned over. Okay. Let's get another one. All right. And we have a uh, perspective and we'll get one more and we have possibilities. Okay. So let's see what these cards want to tell us. Okay. So I think everybody can understand the distance here. It's about separation. It's about space blockage. Okay. Yeah. The, the relationship has a lot of, even if they're in the same room, it's still separation, possibilities, adventure, risks. Okay. Now the possibilities, what I'm going to take from this card, it's not a possibility of this rift between Justin and Haley coming together. No, but there is a lot of toxicity and a lot of risks that J, uh, Justin will be taking going forward. Okay. And then we have perspective, better off. It says better off happiness, clear headed, clear head space. And what I get about this is that she knows that she would be better off without this relationship. She knows that this new baby and Justin are like water and oil. They are not going to mix well in terms of, you know, energy and, um, the time that, uh, she will put into the, the time that they have together. It's just, it's, they're better off separated is what I get. Okay. Let's move on to, uh, we've done love and there's really not much to say there. Let's go on to career. And I already spoke. I don't see her having a career per se. I see her just being a, uh, you know, a mother right now you know, trying to do the best that she can. All right. So let's pull some cards. Actually, let's first get a career card. I talked about a podcast and I see that, you know, them doing that solely for making money. 
because I don't see her really being thrilled about it. But it will be very uh, interesting um, and it will uncover a lot. Okay, so. Yeah, and just as I was talking about that, debt paid. So um, her goal as, you know, in doing anything financially, because she likes being a wife more than, or she did at least, but now it's about paying off debt. All right, let's, let's you know, get into some more of this career. So if she does something, it would be strictly for paying off debt. It's about debt. Okay, let's get a couple more oracles. Okay, we have time. And we have stress. And we have silence. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we have time, which is uh, waiting cycles and moments. And I get that, you know, time is just, <sighs> I get the, the stress and the time is what it, what's coming through together. It's like every time she gets with Justin, every time he's around, it's stress, you know, it's a stressful time. And she would prefer that he were just silent, especially around this baby. Because I get those rifts that they have affect the, the you know, serenity of in the household. It's not there. But the baby I'm getting will be fine. Okay, let's see. Let's just pull some final oracle cards to see if there's anything else the cards want to tell us as it relates to this relationship. Okay, let's see what else the cards want to tell us. Let's pull one. Two, and we'll take the bottom one. Three. Okay. Okay, so what do we have? We have grassland, library, and the sea. And what I get for the sea card is that she needs a lot of tranquility in her life. She needs a lot of serenity, solace quiet uh grassland is just another one see how calm and relaxing that is this is what she needs so that she can you know search things out go th you know like a library is full of knowledge she's trying to understand and get the knowledge and understanding really about what is going on in this so-called relationship marriage and, but she knows that it's going downhill. She knows she's trapped. She knows it's a sad state of affairs. I'm going to pull one final card on this relationship and then we're going to close it out. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Good news. Um, solid beginnings. I get that whatever she chooses to do in terms of making money to pay off these debts, there's good news coming in for that. I don't see anything else about this relationship and what I did see, I spoke of. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. As always, you take good care and we'll talk soon. Bye.